John, you want to tell me what's going on? I will. John didn't come here to arrest Marcy for the murder of Spencer Truman. He came here to arrest me. This is, no, no, this is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. John, please don't do this. Lindsay, we don't have to do this here in front of everyone. There's no good place to do it. So you might as well just go ahead. Lindsay Rappaport, you're under arrest for the murder of Spencer Truman. Remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. About this. I wasn't informed either, but have a little faith. John must know what he's doing. Uh, well, this is insane, okay? Lindsay, she did not kill anybody. She was just named Woman of the Year. Stop, all right? This is really not your place. Not my place? Are you telling me that I am not allowed to defend Lindsay? She is family. This has nothing to do with us. Sure as hell I didn't see that coming. Lindsay? I don't get it either. But if John's arresting her, he must have some kind of evidence, right? Can I tell you? Huh? Something juicy always happens with these things. Yeah, but Lindsay Rappaport, this just doesn't compute. <laughs> Why not? She killed her ex-husband, didn't she? He was a nice guy. Spencer, well, you know, he's easy to kill. So, hey, get on it. We got an exclusive. Right. I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. What does it I mean, after all, Spencer drove a lot of people to do a lot of crazy things. Did either of you know about this? Marcy, you know all about police procedure. You want to tell me what's going on here? I believe this solves the Truman case. John Wood, I'll support you publicly here and now. You know that. But I expect a full report ASAP. Lindsay hardly knew Spencer Truman, John. She had no reason to kill him. Actually, she did. So now you're just going to stand there and tell me that Lindsay actually had a motive to kill Spencer? Come, come on, Marcy. I want an answer, Michael. Is that what you were saying to me, John? I'm not saying anything. We're going home, Marcy. Now, okay? This is a matter for the police. If you want to go home, Michael, you can go home. I am staying here. I am not leaving, Lindsay. I'm not. For God's sake, John, please have him cuff me and take me in. Not so fast. Oh, I wish I could help her. Me too. I don't even know what's going on. I mean, Marcy's right. Lindsay didn't even know Spencer. And what reason would she have for killing him, especially so violently stabbing him over and over again? The only way I could see her doing this would, uh, would be if one of her kids was being threatened. Yeah, but Will's not here. Jen is... All right, so this couldn't have been a case of Lindsay acting like Mama Bear. Oh my God, Rex. What if it was? Art dealer deals fatal blow. No, that's too banner. How about the art of murder? Doesn't say enough. Killer, Killer of the, of the year. year. Perfect. Lindsay. Is there anything that you need to say to me? Yes. I want to tell you that it's all right. That I'll go with John. Lindsay, why are you letting them do this to you? Just, you know, just, just tell them that it's a mistake. Just, just tell them the truth, okay? Marcy, please. Will you please just tell them the truth? Tell them that you had absolutely nothing to do with this, okay? Okay, please. Will you please just tell them that there is absolutely no truth to this? Right?
What are you thinking, Adriana? Brett, um, you and Lindsay were once close. So? <sighs> Did you have any idea that she killed Spencer Truman? What? No, I'm just as shocked as everyone else. Oh, well, what about you, Mom? You are a friend of Lindsay's. Well, yes, though I must say I was rather surprised when she was selected as Woman of the Year. Well, let me guess, because you thought it should have been you? I may not have spent every waking hour of the past year helping those less fortunate, but at least I didn't kill any of them. Oh, God. Don't worry, Marcy. It's gonna be all right. Okay? It's going to be all right. I hope you know what you're doing. I have an eyewitness. Excuse me, Bo, could I speak to you for a second? I was thinking maybe I should interview Lindsay on her own, see if I can get her to fill in the details and, and if possible, sign a confession. Do what you have to do. 